Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to uh, Season 3, Week 1 of the CPA. Uh, at least my battle for it. My name is Sarslet, and I am the coach of the Musa Miners. <sighs> the battle I'm bringing you today was the battle for the first week between myself and the Musa Miners. And DS Gaming's Birmingham Vulpix. I'm just going to go over what happened with trying to explain the decisions I made. Uh, um, it's going to be a bit of an excuse here. I did do this quite late at night and I was very tired. I'm really sure I did it if I remember correctly. Um, so I did make some really weird decisions on what to do. Um, you'll actually notice in the team builder, because I'm pretty sure I did this literally right after I made the team builder. Um, quite tired, and did things I kind of, I'm kind of thinking, why did I do that? In hindsight, it's like, it was so much more obvious to run this, or do this, or make this move, and I feel kind of stupid. But anyways, let's get to it. So you can he you can see here for starters, um, DS has opened with his uh, is a shiny okay then uh, his bronze on uh, Liberty Bell. Obviously a very bulky Pokemon, willing to uh, take a couple of hits on either physical or special side. Um, and you got me. I opened with Haruki or Arcanine. Now if you have watched Team Builder, you do know that Haruki is built bulky. With Will O Wisp, Snore, Rest, and Bulldoze in this case. Uh, that last move slot is interchangeable. It can be just about anything. I chose Bulldoze because I expected him to. Although it was kind of weird, I. It is a bit of a weird choice to run. Because later on we find out he was running Heatproof on um, the Bronzong. Because I'm able to hit it with Bulldoze. Which, honestly, against me is a weird choice because I only have one fire type. I, I, I only actually drafted one fire type, so uh, running heat proof doesn't make much sense. He would have been better off running uh, levitate because then Haruki literally wouldn't be able to touch li Liberty Ball. Anyways, we'll go on. I get the intimidate drop off and then burn. He sets up stealth rocks. Burn damage, obviously. He has the intimidate drop. And then I hit bulldoze. This is when... Um, Basically, he uh, DS decided to reveal. Uh, uh, he says, how, "How did you know I was heatproof?" I, was like, I didn't. It was a guess. Because yeah, I did actually guess at this point. I guessed that he'd be heatproof, and he was. So yeah, it was a. Uh, he turned out to be heatproof, and that played well for me to an extent. Uh, Haruki doesn't really have any investment into attack. It's just Arcanine's base attack, dealing quite dealing the damage from Bulldozer. Anyways, that gave me a speed drop, and he tried to land a toxic and missed. We have the next turn, heals up the leftovers, takes the damage from the burn. I just keep going with Bulldoze because I don't see the point in not. I don't mind. Like, like, there, I was, I was expecting him to go for, um... Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, I, would, I was expecting him to go for another Toxic, try and get that up. That wouldn't bother me, obviously, as I had Rest. At no point did I actually reveal that, but yes, I was running Rest on Haruki, so... I was um, I was not phased by the chance of him landing a toxic. In fact, it would have just been the waiting game of he thought he could outbulk me, and then I just reveal the rest, and Ricky would just be like, "Yep, yeah, no, he wouldn't be able to get past her." But yeah, so he ended up revealing he had earthquake, which, <laughs> funnily enough, I was doing more damage with um, earthquake with bulldoze to him than he was doing to me with earthquake, which <laughs> I found quite funny. Anyways, if we continue, let's. But we're about just above 50%. He swaps out, realizing it's kind of futile staying in. And he sends an Umbreon. I get the speed drop with Bulldoze. And the next turn, go for Will O Wisp, because I can't be burned. So it made sense. He chooses, I believe, yeah. Baton passes out. I'm not entirely sure why. But decided to bat Baton pass out to his Shaman, and then immediately swap to Umbreon again. Expe obviously, expecting to go for Will O Wisp, which is fair enough. So here we've got the interesting situation of Haruki um, facing down this burned Umbreon 
and going to be honest, neither can really do anything to each other. Eventually the stalemate culminates, I because he's brought casual, normal, bulky Umbreon, um, it, it's a stalemate. Eventually I, I, I believe I ended up swapping? Yeah, I'm just going for Bulldo's lowering speed and being the usual stally with Wish and Protect, Toxic, the usual. He does have foul play, of course. Trying to deal damage, but it's not going to help because I can just rest if I need to. And honestly, what I should have done was, uh, yeah, he here's where I made a mistake is at this point, I sp uh, not yeah, it's one of these turns. I think it's the next turn. I swap out. Uh, well, I know I burn him. I, I reburn him because there's no point in not reburning the, uh, the Umbreon. But I do end up swapping out Haruki because, like, I see futile effort. What, what I should have done was I should have tried for the snow. Yeah, here we go. I, I swap out here, and I realized this was a mistake on my part. What I re what I realized in hindsight I should have done was. Um, gone to sleep and use Snore for the flinch chance to stop him from being able to heal consistently, and that would have dealt with a lot of his team. Eventually, he would have just swapped out, and I could have burned something else on his team. Uh, mainly looking to burn um, either of the three nucleus there: Garchomp, Azumarill, or Beedrill. So uh, I don't get to I don't get to burn any of them. As we continue, I actually send in my Magirna, Ebony the Magirna. And you tried to hit Haruki with a foul play, but I had swapped out. Now here, I believe I go for Flash... No, I went for um, uh, Shift Gear on the swap to get the speed boost, because I knew he would swap. And for, I don't know why I decided to go for Flash Cannon here. I would have been better off going with um, uh, Dazzling Gleam. And of course, I then get the special... Defense drop from Earth Power, even though it's kind of, it's kind of annoying, so... And just, I swap in my, uh, Monsoon, I swap in Monsoon, the, uh, Politoed, to get the Drizzle up, and eat a Earth Power. Uh, I believe he stays in and goes for, let's find out, he stays in and goes for a Giga Drain. I also stayed in, I knew he'd have a Grass Tank, but I went for Ice Punch, I actually happened to get the Freeze, <laughs> which is quite funny. And he's just, he's happy about the ability, so he leaves, because natural cure. I stayed in, and, well, actually, no, I swapped out as well, I went out to, whoa, the Black Kieran. Kind of regretting that decision now, I should have just stayed in, but oh well. And there I went for Fusion Bolt, hit the Umbreon for no damage whatsoever, because he swapped out. <laughs> I switch again, send in Ebony. Kind of just scare Umbreon, and then I make another mistake. Because, uh, obvious switch here, but I decide to pop my Z move, which is actually fighting type, fight EMZ, all out pummeling. And not only it doesn't do anywhere near enough damage, if that, if I had been running fair EMZ, Twinkle Tackle, um, I, that would have, that would have KO'd at that point, and, uh, I am actually quite annoyed at that. I should have just had fair EMZ, because that dealt with most of his team, but I was scared of the normal types that he didn't bring. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why, well, I was just more concerned about dealing with them. I mean, to be fair, I think just having the move would have done without that. And I sent in my Rudy Colo, and the rain runs out almost immediately. Ebony coming back in to hopefully get going. Unfortunately, the Earth Power is just enough to take her out, and yeah, nothing much I can do about that. We then have Wo come back in to try and deal with the thing. I do have Ice Beam, so I can deal a lot of damage with that. I think he just went for Synthesis to Scout. But I deal too much damage with Ice Beam, and we went for Giga Drain here, which I find kind of weird. He could have stalled me out on PP. I mean, at this point, although he didn't actually know I was Scarfed, I was Scarfed. And then when this came in, I had to swap, annoyingly. However, I should have stayed in because he double swapped out to his Garchomp. If I'd stayed in and gone for the Ice Beam instead of swapping out, I would have actually managed to KO Garchomp and that would have dealt with most of the problems I was going to have with his team. He swaps out into the Shaman and I actually hit him with an Ice Beam. 
which almost, almost takes out, but luckily I easily outspeed in the rain and take him out with a second I speed. He then sends in Umbreon, and here's where anything goes something wrong for me. I go for the focus miss and miss, which really, really destroys me there. Because if I if I'd landed that, that probably would have taken out Umbreon, and the wish would not have been passed to the Bronzong, and this wouldn't have happened. So yeah, I had a big problem there in that happening. I decided to go for the Scald, hoping to get the burn. I obviously don't get it, and he lands a Toxic on me. I want to keep Lost Mets with, I think, I think I, did I swap out here? No, I went, I went for Scald, and he swapped in his, um, Azumarill. Now, I don't think he was expecting me to outspeed still, but I did, and I got off the Giga Drain, recovering most of my health. And then in comes the Mega Beedrill. Uh, at that point, I really should have swapped out into Arcanine and gotten ready to set up the Will-O-Wisp, even though it wouldn't have mattered. I actually go into Kieran Black here, and I'm out sped because I'm not max speed. I am Scarf, but I'm not max speed. I still think I am. I don't remember. No, I'm, I'm a little bit less than max speed, and Garchomp, I think, outspeeds with max speed anyways, so... Yeah, unlike... I, I, I definitely say, out of the two of us, <laughs> DS kind of over-prepared for this battle. Uh, if you watch the team builder, I'm just kind of like, eh, well, this will work, and this will work, and as far as I remember, he went on about him speed creeping my moms to make sure he outsped them, like, really? You're taking it that seriously? <laughs> but no, yeah. I end up on a 0-4 to four differential being absolutely destroyed, mostly by Garchomp at the end there, kind of clean up. I made some bad choices. I should have ran, um... Twinkle Tackle over uh, All Out Pummeling, but I was concerned about not having anything proper to deal with the normal types, which he ended up not bringing. Um, I probably should have a Mega Speed, uh, Mega Speed, Max Speed on the Kyurem, even though it wouldn't have mattered, he would have still outsped me by a long margin. Um, I should have. I really needed to do a little bit better on the. Uh, if I hadn't missed the, actually, if I hadn't missed the focus miss, that would have gone a lot better as well, because Umbreon would have been out of the way, and then I would have still, I wouldn't have been toxic immediately. You know, toxic did. I mean, I can't say that properly. Basically, he wouldn't line up toxic straight away. Wouldn't have gotten the wish off, and I could have sat there and um, dealt more damage with Ludicolo. Because I think in the rain, Ludicolo would outspeed Scarf Trump. I could be wrong about that. But at max speed, Ludico in the rain, I'm fairly sure outspeeds uh, Scarf Trump. So I could have gotten off the Ice Beam and, def uh, you know, beat, beat him down. I could be wrong though, I don't know, but I'm fairly sure it would outspeed. Um, Armaldo just didn't really see the light of day, and I don't know why. Because if I'd done... One thing I meant to do in the early on, and I just didn't think of it because... I don't know why, is when he had the Umbreon out, or the Shaman out, is I should have sent in my Politoed and double swapped out to my Armaldo, who would have then been extremely fast, and because I had him banded, I could have just gone in and started spiring off X scissors left and right, easily knocking out anything he came up against, because an X scissor off of an Armaldo is strong enough, an X scissor off of a banded Armaldo is just terrifying. <laughs> I mean, doubled speed on an Armado isn't much, but it's it's a it's a fair whack. Maybe having him scarf would be better, but I had scarf on the Kieran because the entire team was meant to go quickly. Magirna, that's why she had the setup. But no, yeah, I made quite I made a few mistakes here and there, and I hope to learn from those. I mean, there's also just the I'm not experienced with that battle. I'm not here to be competitive. I'm here to have fun. And I guess I got a little annoyed at the end there because I <laughs> happened to miss a, a couple of, uh, at least one or two crucial moves. Um, so yeah, that's that I guess. I lost, that's it. And... Yeah. 
Next battle is against the San Jose Farfetch for week two, I'm fairly sure. So yeah, look forward to that coming up in a week a week after this one. Next Saturday, Team Builder on Friday, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now, and don't forget to go check out the rest of the CPA. Bye!